what they'll never tell you about ranking up in Rocket League. Listen, I know we all think we want SSL, but what if I told you it's all a facade? Seriously, what if SSL wasn't the best rank? What if your best rank was actually your current rank? That's why today I'm revealing the dark side of getting SSL and warning, if you take five minutes and hear me out, I'll convince you you don't actually want it and why there's another set of ranks that are better for 90% of you. But for you to understand the full story here, first, I need to tell you the truth about why SSL was created in the first place. The story starts in 2020 when Rocket League went free to play. It wasn't until November 23rd, 2020 that Rocket League actually invented the SSL rank. And for those of you who don't understand why this was created, you see, before Rocket League went free to play, the highest rank in the game was Grand Champ. And there have always been a lot of problems with the rank distribution, but back when it was Grand Champ, there were a lot more players at the top rank in the game. They stretched out the top of the rank ladder and they added a full new rank bracket, splitting things up into what we know it today. If you go look at the rank distribution today, you'll see Grand Champ 1 is top 1% of players, so it's hard to get to. Yet, as you get to GC2, GC3, and SSL, the fraction of players that remain is so small, you can't even see it on the graph. And yet, if you asked most people in ranked lobbies, what is their dream rank? Most people would say SSL. Here is where I think the problem lies. Update, if you didn't see the announcement in the free Discord server, our official coaching partner, the Grand Champ Bootcamp, just hired four new RLCS coaches to their roster. So if you're plat, diamond, or champ and are looking for pro level coaching, they're back in stock for a limited time. DM our coaching sponsor on Discord with the keyword restock four for more details on coaching. And back to the video. While I'm not saying that getting SSL is a bad goal, I'm saying for most people, it is just unrealistic. I know this might sound like a bunch of woo woo and you might be thinking, Luke, why are you telling me this? So let me tie this back to you watching in Plat Diamond or Champ, and I promise this will all make sense. While most people think up here, SSL is the best place to be, I'm telling you your optimal zone for most of you is right around the middle upper here. Champ one, champ two, champ three, maybe grand champ. Because when you do what you need to do to get to champ or grand champ, you know, you play with your friends, start doing a training pack a little bit, you try out some new workshop maps, you play free play, you're learning new stuff and it's fun. All of a sudden your friends start looking at you as you climb the ranks, they say, hey, what have you been doing? But eventually when you rank up, there's a point where things start to slow down. For some people, this is around diamond. For some people, this is around champ. And for some people, they they don't start slowing down till around Grand Champ. But here's what happens. If you want to continue to get better, you kind of have to grind. This is the point where all of your casual friends start to fade away. You know, you have 400 MMR apart and your friends are no longer saying, wow, you're, you're good. That's cool that you can do that. Instead, they start looking at you a little weird. They're like, are you okay? We haven't seen you out in a while and you have 50 hours past two weeks in Rocket League. You see, when this starts to happen, you've started to reach what I would call the optimal rank zone. You've gotten most of your rank up and you could still play with your friends and you're still having fun, but the game isn't a full-time job to improve. Here's the problem. Once you reach your optimal rank zone, you're going to go on YouTube. You're going to go on TikTok and you're going to see guys in pulse clip hitting. You're going to see pros triple flip resetting at center stage RLCS. And you're going to be like, I want to get SSL, right? I really want to be top 100. But the thing is, if you want to be AppJack, you have to play the game like AppJack plays. And I don't know if you saw my podcast about a year ago when I talked with AppJack, but I was just asking him some questions about his lifestyle. And I'm like, yeah, man, so what's your routine right now? Like how how many hours are you putting into the game? And he was like, uh, oh yeah, I think I have like 110 hours past two weeks. And I was like, huh? He is sitting down at his computer eight to 10 hours a day. Now I tell you that just to say Appjack is a different breed, but the point is not all of us can be Appjack. I'm not your dad. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your life or how you should spend your time. But I just wanna set your expectation clearly and make sure that you know, because most people on YouTube don't say this stuff. If you try to play Rocket League like a full-time job, a lot of parts of your life will suffer. And it might not 
not be a super positive experience for you. Even though you're ranking up in Rocket League, you're like not touching grass, not talking to your family and like showering and stuff like that. It's important too. So when you think about playing Rocket League, I just want you to think about your goal and whether or not your life will be actually better if you achieve your goal. And for most people, I think that, you know, you can improve and Rocket League becomes a lot more fun and you can play with more people and it becomes more competitive as you climb from diamond to champ to even grand champ. But once you start to approach grand champ, especially if you're not some like super mechanically gifted kid, like they can get SSL in like 1500 hours playing like 30 minutes a day. But for most of us, for the average people, especially if you're uncoordinated like me and you weren't too good at sports when you were a kid, we just don't learn that fast. So for us, if we really want to get SSL, we have to grind. And sometimes what was worth it in the past isn't always worth it to continue trying to level up and just push harder and harder. I don't do these kind of raw videos often, but if you like this one, you'll like my next one where I talk about why I'm quitting Rocket League, which kind of like ties in to all this stuff. Click that video if you want to spend more time with me. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching.